But you this know what Manny said? Manny said, I will fight for free. And he's lying his fucking ass off. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are never going to go well fight for free. They're bullshit. He just wanted this fight to happen so bad, man. Would you rather take 40 mil or They're not, knocked out or take nothing again? He out? said that shit just because he wants to look the like the bigger mil. person. The 40 but mil it, hurt a lot worse. If you think they're going to go, well, he's going to get paid, but you ain't. And you still said you wanted to fight him. So, Fuck no, he ain't going to take that shit. So the, no, the whole no, excuse no, is no. why this fight was taking so long to go on because... Mayweather is signed on a Showtime. Now and, he's not. And now, and, 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 and a certain day, I believe it's May, is when he's going to run, the, the contract for Showtime is going to run out. So, you know, Floyd, he's trying to make most money as he can. So, that's the way, way, that's way because if he get that involved, Showtime going to get involved and try to take a certain amount. Floyd Mayweather is not a contract for Showtime anymore. It happens next year. It happens sometime so, next year. That's the excuse, that's, that's excuse there. It's going to be on pay-per-view. And, why not? Why not? Why did this fight not happen a few years ago? Because it was all about the moolah. It was all about the money, bro. And I'm it, it, it well, was you don't think Floyd is, is ducking this man at all? No, no. It's all about the money. All about the business. Floyd, Floyd Mayweather is a showman. But Floyd did offer him forty million before. Yes, yeah. Floyd Mayweather Bob is Abram. a showman. So the one fight they had set up, I they said Bob. Pacquiao take a piss test. Because he contained some kind of supplement in his body. Well, no, 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 no. It wasn't a piss test. They wanted a no, blood, blood test. Blood test. They wanted a blood, blood test. test. Then they said that they didn't ever say that. Pacquiao said he didn't want to do it, but he said, I'll do it. And it become a big, gigantic snowball effect. Yeah. This was, this is simple. The reason why they want, they kept building it up, building it up, building it up, building it up. Now you strike when the iron's hot, whenever they know they're going to be able to make the most money off of it. Floyd Mayweather will be, be a dummy when it comes to certain things, but when it comes to being that guy, that showman, that guy that builds and builds and builds and is able to get the most bang for his buck, that's when he's going to strike. And yeah. that's what this has all been and building up to. I think Bob Abram was just wanted to. Mm-hmm. He, I think Bob Abram kind of knew, like, if he would have went into that fight back then with Floyd Mayweather, if Floyd Mayweather would have beat Pacquiao, that probably would have ended Pacquiao's career. Exactly. And then, so, Abram, like, okay, so let me get some Pacquiao fights. Was, nope. Let me get some fights. Yep. Let me get some money out of this man. Because I know once Floyd fight him, that's it. Because he's not yep. going to beat Floyd. Pacquiao's good, no doubt. But he's not going to be. This is your greatest Mayweather. strength about an offensive person taking on a defensive person. Yeah, that's why Pacquiao, I say yeah, pound for pound, beast. Mayweather, you can probably say Mayweather is probably the best terrible boxer. Pacquiao has never lost. Record is 57, 5 and 2, mm-hmm. 38, 9 calories. Mm-hmm. 36 years old. Floyd ain't lost. You coming off a fight in there with Chris that's Algie. Right, Mayweather, 37. We all know his record. 47 and 0. Never lost. 26 knockouts. The invisible question He ain't built asked, for knocking out people. The, the, the question is asked. Floyd. Yeah. What if, what if when this fight happened, that he get... What if Floyd loses? What if Floyd loses? Then I don't every, see a knockout, but what if Floyd loses? Then every Filipino in America will have a holiday. Uh-huh. Every Filipino person in America will have a holiday if because Floyd loses. Pacquiao, as we know, his style, like you can't say, Kevin, he's, he's on offensive end. He's going to take, Pacquiao he, he's going to be in his face. Pacquiao will swing and swing and swing, and Floyd will sit there, and hopefully he get tired. But if Pacquiao won, the Filipino Americans would have a holiday. Philip, the Philippines It'd would have Pacquiao a national day. holiday. It'd, It'd be, be many Pacquiao day, everybody off work. And they would take it off, make pants it, Make those little spring rolls and be going crazy. That's what would happen. If if Pacquiao wins, do you give him? Do you give Mayweather a rematch? Yeah, no. you got to. You don't give neither one of them a rematch if they lose. If one of them wins or lose, this is it would have to be a rematch either way. This I don't be, think Mayweather should get a rematch. He like I proved myself. Neither one, neither one should get a rematch. This should be a one off. This is what y'all wanted to see. You got it. There shouldn't be no. No, no friggin'. One off sounds good. But if Floyd, it's if a Floyd one wins. off. That should be, man. It shouldn't be for no titles, no nothing. One off. This That's is for it. you're the undisputed the heavy the of whatever. Go retire. We'll put the belts on somebody else. We doing the best out of three? No. 
Because if I give you one, if I give you two, I've got to give you three. I'll tell you what. You would have to then. The reason yeah. But that's only if a person didn't win the both The reason fights. I think Mayweather... If I give you one, I gotta, if I give you two, got to give you three. The I'm reason I think Mayweather should not do a rematch is because Pacquiao's been coming at him hard. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. And he's like, I'll prove myself. Off. I'll knock you out. Well, but he won't knock him out. Pacquiao? I can already say that. Floyd Mayweather would not. I know we're not knocking him out. Floyd Mayweather would not knock him out. I'm not saying knock him out, but Pacquiao wins. I think Mayweather is ever rematch. Who did Pacquiao just lose to? Amir Khan and um. He lost. A, he lost to one dude uh, about a year ago. What's the Mexican name? Uh, and then he got. And then he yeah, got. And then he got the fight back. And then he got the fight back. And then is, beat the is, holy is crap Amir out of Amir Khan in their weight class. I think so. Man, that dude. Is, that dude is is, is, is a beast. I'm gonna look it up because Pacquiao. Yeah, it, it, but I, I, you make it a one-off. You don't. You, you just make it a one. You don't make it like Rocky, where they fought each other 15 times. times. You make it like Drago and Rocky, where they fought one, one time. time that, that was it. it. I love you, USA. You're over with. <laughs> it's done. It's done. Over with. That's what you do. You uh, make it a one. Marquez one. Uh, yep. Yeah, well, Juan Manuel Marquez. Marquez and yeah. then Bradley beat him too. Oh, Bradley, yeah. yeah. Bradley beat him too. Out of all people, Bradley. But this that's how you do it. You make it a one off. But so then he beat, beat Bradley and he beat Bradley. He got Bradley he got a rematch with Bradley, Bradley and beat him. Yeah. I seen that rematch. Brown I seen I seen the Brad I I was trying to figure out how how Bradley even even won that fight. I think they did. That was just for the money. Yeah. yeah. But you 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 make it a one off. Because you Pacquiao can't have a rematch. Can't I, can't 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 nah, can't, nah, can't. Huh? can't no I one I would I'd pay to see it one time I wouldn't pay to see it a second time because especially if, if if all I, the hype is there now I want right. to pay to see it I would I would want to pay to see it the only first way time. Only I'd go way, to Buffalo Wild Wings the only way I would <laughs> the only way I'd pay to see the second one is if the first one was a split two the only way I'd pay yeah. to see the second one is if they fall over a shark pit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, this or is, a scaffold match see, like they used to do in wrestling. If it's a split it, decision, this is you got to give them some more rounds. This is what oh I'm yeah, if it's a split decision, no, if it's a split decision, you just say right then and there we gonna add another five right. rounds at the event. Don't add, don't <laughs> add another fight. Just add another five yeah, rounds. Be like the old days. Then, exactly, rounds, you make it to where you have a winner. Rounds. This is the fight everybody wants to see. And everybody wants to see what? Yes, they need to. <laughs> we already know boxing is not what it used to be as far Overtime as the marquee boxing. names and everything like that. So this, these are the two marquee these names. Are the two marquee this names. is it right now. Yeah, this is it. Well, used the to UFC, when we UFC done took over when we were younger. No, the heavy watch UFC. when we were younger. The heavyweight. Well, many division. people do. Many people do now watch UFC. White people with their tap out shirts, but <laughs> but yeah, but this, but. But back in our day, it was it was it was the heavyweights. Yeah, you had all the great heavyweights. I still watch boxing. Now you have a lot of a lot of these littler guys are coming up. But these are the names. This is the names you Mayweather want to see. Pacquiao. This is the Holyfield. That's what, that's this the, is the Holyfield Tyson. Yeah. This is what these fights are. This is that fight this that you want to see, and you want to see this is it. once. I just want to see it once. Yes. The That's world it. will once. be watching for this. And we'll once. Be it will happen next year. It yeah. will happen yeah. sometime yeah. next year. This is your big event. Look at this. If it happens on May the 2nd, May the 2nd, you get this fight. May the 5th, you get Avengers 2. <laughs> Kevin, like, it's a win-win what? for me. What a damn week for me. <laughs> You yeah, get Avengers this fight, Buffalo Wild Wings, yeah, Avengers 2, May 5th. They're coming out with Mad Max. Yeah, they're coming out. They redid, redid, uh, redid Mad Max. Yep. Man, that's going to be cute. They All redid right. Mad They redo everything from our youth. They've redone. They're redoing it, Ghostbusters. It won't, it won't be. It won't. They're doing Ghostbusters. They're doing another Ghostbusters with an all-female Ghostbuster crew. Going up against, the. you're seeing the little midget from Game of Thrones? Mm -hmm. He's going to be the bad guy. Oh, I call them midgets. They're going to come after us. Oh, boy. He's going to be the bad guy, and he's going to unearth all of these old historical figures, mm -hmm. their ghosts, to help him try to take over New York. Oh, it's going to be ridiculous. I'm still going to watch it because it's going to say Ghostbusters, but I'm going to be mad. Yeah, you're going to know what's going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be mad. So they got Dan Aykroyd. Okay, Good now on to our, are we done? Yeah, we'll do our rapid topic here. Okay, so we're going to go into the rapid topic now. Yes. Okay, so yeah. last time we did, if you was going to build your franchise, 
and you can pick two offensive linemen, two defensive linemen, who would you pick? Well, this time we're going to go, if you're going to build your franchise, who would you pick? Two linebackers uh, and two running backs. Two we're kind of picking people that go head-to-head against each other on the field. So you got backs. two, and you so already looking at them. Exempt from linebackers. Lawrence Taylor, because we knew everybody in this damn place. But you know he could drop from the defense first, defense. But we we still would have picked Lawrence, Lawrence Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. You want to go offense first, or defense as a linebacker. Well, offense you got, you're going to have your running back, so you get to pick your two running back. And I think everybody will pick two different ones. So I'm yeah. not excluding anybody. Well, no, you should is everybody is everybody going to pick Walter Payton? No, you can. You no. can you okay, can, so you can we'll we'll, we'll so we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll we won't excuse me. no no running backs. Yeah, you can choose who you want as far as the running backs. Yeah, we won't excuse no running backs. Yeah, but the linebackers, so we excuse in Lawrence Taylor. First. So we'll let we'll let you go so first. I'm guess. No, no, you're not a guest. Yeah, guess this is your back. house. We the guest. So we get to go <laughs> first. <laughs> but we'll let you go first anyway, since you ain't been on in a while. All right. And we'll go and we'll go running backs first. Running backs. We'll go running back first. You do one at a time now. Don't jump off two of them. Cause that's what I was about to do. No, don't no, no, jump the two guy. of them. You do one, then the we get to say guy, one, then we go back to you. Yeah. Uh, you will take all of our running backs. I know, right? Damn. Can't have nice things. Well, you already know one first one. I'm going to say Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. There you go. No, no, I got to say Barry Sanders. He, he, he done done more than a lot of people are still doing right now. As far as toting that ball. Barry Sanders. Imagine if he would have stayed. No, and. No, and. You get one right now, and oh, then we go around. Oh, yes. crap. God darn he didn't Aaron listen Sanders. to a word I said. <laughs> All right, Cortez, you up now. I'm going to let you go say. All right, my running back. Who going to pick mine? Who going to pick mine? Somebody's going to pick somebody. We all know what's happening. I'm going to go with O.J. Simpson. Nah. O.J. Simpson slashing and tearing and stabbing his way it's through close. the line. <laughs> That's a little cool. <laughs> I, I just, OJ. I, I just yeah. think OJ Simpson was he was the first player to run for two thousand some yards. OJ. And he did it in fourteen games. OJ. So he would I, have I, trophies and stuff, but you know, he, he sold them and he couldn't get them back. Yeah, true. But everybody I, mean, this, this, I think everybody knows who I'm gonna I, pick. I miss his his whole his out of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that my wife knows who I'm gonna pick. Listen, I so it should be awesome. I am telling you that this guy was just impressed with the He slashed and tore and stabbed his way so, through everybody. I'm gonna go he with was great. I'm gonna go with OJ. Great slasher. OJ something His slash move was Ray Taylor. His bat no. <laughs> same college though. Okay. I'm gonna go with the all time leader in rusher in the history oh, of the NFL. I'm taking Emmett Smith. The man Emmett. was a Emmett. horse. Oh, that man was a whore. Was a he played his. He played a game with a shoulder falling off, for God's sake. Which I heard him tell the story about it, too. It was an amazing story. I'm not going to go into it right now because I know we're getting hungry. We're kind of getting to where I know Chris got phone calls. Where you at? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we, we, I'm, 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 I'm going to go with it. I bet he includes most attempts, yard gains, 1,000 yard seasons, touchdowns, and 100 yard beast. games. Enough. A- a beast. A beast. <laughs> no. Emmett Smith was a beast. Listen, my dad, I can co-sign that. My dad loved Emmett Smith. Got his jersey. And that's yeah. Yeah. I I'm love the Cowboys fan. And so I know all yeah. about watching Emmett Smith when I was growing up. He was. So, so I, I definitely love Emmett Smith. He man. was the guy that really got me into football. Yeah. He was He was that guy for me. Such that a nice guy, in. too. Oh, I'm phenomenal. Good. I got a tweet good. signed by him at the house. <laughs> I got a tweet. I, I sent him a thing on Twitter. They were doing a thing for Xfinity to where he was signing tweets for two hours. So I got a tweet that said, uh, once a gator, always a gator. And he signed. And I got Emmett Smith. I got it hanging up in the house. So that was one of them cool things. But I did My get the chance. I did get the chance to meet him, too. And it was it was phenomenal. All right. You can go ahead and go. Go with your second one. Oh, Jim Brown. Jim Brown. Jim Brown. That's I a good one. Pick that's, that's, that. that's, you pick that's a big, yeah. very short yeah. career. Yeah. Very short career. Dominant. But short during dominant. that short career, he was he was one of the most dominant people ever. So I go with an elusive back with Barry Sanders and the more of a and the horse and the horse with and the uh, horse. Okay, with Jim Brown. Yeah, definitely, definitely right. the horse. I was gonna pick a Niner and say Roger. Yeah, Roger. <laughs> I don't get laughed at. As much as I love, as much as as much as I love my boy. TD, and Terrell the Davis. I became a Broncos fan. I'm not gonna choose him. No, nope. yeah, I mean, but he was a beast. Man. He was a beast. He was but a he beast. was another guy. He's an honorable mention. He was yeah. another guy. He was another guy with a very short career. That's what I'm saying. Short yeah, career, short but career. just 
phenomenal. Yeah. Like Garrison yeah. Hurst. Can I talk about the the uh, Tessin Christian Award? About let's give them a shout out. How about Damian Thomas? Yo, yeah, yeah. All time leading what? Yeah. All